What is up people of YouTube? I got a really cool video. Today we're going to do a review of the Ranger Geiger counter, which is the Inspector USB's new and improved older brother. So let's get started. So this is the box it came in. Nothing too special here. Just thought I'd show you what it came in, so we'll throw that away. Because we don't need that. So, this, the Geiger counter is in this case. It's a nice case. Comes with a little clip that you can strap to your pocket. We'll open that up in a second. It comes with a a little uh, harness that you can attach to your wrist so the Geiger counter doesn't fall off. A wrist strap, not a harness. Throw that away, we don't need that. Comes with a little stand that the Geiger counter will click into so you can support it standing upright so it doesn't fall over, even though it is fairly stable by itself without it. And it comes, of course, with a USB cable that you can plug into your computer. So, what we've all been waiting for, let's open this guy up. Alright guys, before I open the case, uh, I'm going to show you it again. Like I said, you can clip this onto your belt, so it's very nice and very well made. It's by SE International, of course, that's the brand of the Geiger counter. So let's open her up. And ta -da! There's the Geiger counter itself. The Radiation Alert Ranger. It has a really cool interface. It's very easy to use. This is the alarm right here. That's where the actual sound comes from. Uh, the light that lights up when it detects radiation. The LCD screen. I have the extreme boot on it right now. There's the clip on the bottom to clip into this guy right here. So you can stand it straight up so it won't fall over when you're using it. Um, it is flat on the bottom so it's not necessary because it's pretty stable without it but it is nice to have. And then the back of it now I'm not going to take the extreme boot off. Uh, the only thing on the back of this that is missing is the battery case which is two AA batteries so I'm not going to take off the boot to show you guys that but there is a little case that's the battery case slides right out and clicks right in on the bottom right here so the dust cover on the back and then the detector itself now this is a pancake type probe so it can detect alpha beta gamma and x-ray it's really good at detecting lower levels because of the size of it um, it is 45 millimeters across, or 1.77 inches. Um, I've measured like 1.83 inches with this guy, but it is what it is. Alright, so let's turn this guy on. So you hold the button down for three seconds, and you'll see Radiation Alert Ranger, the serial number, firmware version, and the date it was last calibrated. Now right now it is doing a 30 second self test to calibrate itself to the normal background radiation so in about 25 seconds it's going to give us a secondary beep and that means it has done the self test and it is now ready to use so we'll wait for that to happen. You get the lovely clicking noise and every time you get a click you get an indication from the light on top there was the beep so now it's calibrated and we are ready to use. So right now I want to turn on the uh, the light. So you can either click it on or off for the LCD light or you can just click it and it will uh, I have it set for 10 seconds and then it will automatically go away but if you hold it down it will stay on until you turn off the LCD screen. So let's go through the modes. So right now we are in micro sieverts per hour. Uh, this is pretty normal background radiation for where I live between 0.1 and 0.2 micro sieverts an hour. So we'll go through. So you got your counts now you can have this set for a timed count to detect really low levels of radiation, so it will average that. The counts per minute. Milliren an hour, or excuse me, microren an hour. Milliren an hour. Counts per second. And back to micro C where it's an hour. It does have an alarm mode you can set by pressing alarm, so right now I have it, if I were to press enable, by pressing the uh, this button right here at 10 microsieverts an hour the alarm would go off and it's really loud really annoying so I don't want to do that you can also have it count I have it set to 10 minutes so I don't really want to do that um, this, can, this button right here turns off the sound so now it's in silent mode so if you're on like an airplane that would be useful because you don't want to scare the hell out of everyone And then, like I said, this is the back display. You've got to hold it down for it to go off. And then it goes back off. Or you can press it one time and it will be lit for 10 seconds, as I said before.
there we are. So there's 10 seconds. Uh, this piece of equipment is about, it's pretty expensive. Uh, I got this for just a little over 600 bucks off of Amazon. It was sold by uh, some person that SE International supplies to. So I got it off that. Um, the old Inspector USB, the only one I can find right now for sale, is on Amazon and eBay, and the one on Amazon is almost $2,000, and it has the exact same pro in it, so don't rip yourself off and get something super expensive just because they don't make them anymore. Um, so it does have free software. You plug in the USB cable right here, and you connect it to your computer. So it's very easy to use. So over here, I'm going to give you guys a little demo. I do have a test source. Well, not really a test source. I took some. I took apart a fire detector, and right here, let's see if I can zoom in onto it. We have americium 241. Zoom in onto that. Yep, right there. Look at that guy. So it is an alpha emitter, and it emits some gamma, not a whole lot, but mostly an alpha emitter. So. I'm going to hold it to the back of it. You can really see it doesn't really detect it because the alpha rays get stomped by the plastic on here. But you get a little bit of higher background. It's detecting those gammas right now. So yeah, it's going up. But as soon as you flip it over, So yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice thing about alphas is they don't really go too far, so that's how I had it really close to the probe. That's why it's safe to handle, um, because it is in this case, so I'm not too worried about any radiation. Like I said, if I hold it the other way, nothing. Hold it this way where the alphas can get detected. Yeah, it's a very cool piece of equipment. Uh, the reason why I bought this is because uh, I work on an aircraft and I wanted to see if it emits um, radiation. Now, it might sound kind of funny, but uh, I use it for work. So, yep, it's pretty cool. I would recommend definitely getting one of these. Uh, super cool and fun to mess with. So, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comment below.